Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is like the first time like I've actually sat down and filmed in like actually a month because the last video I posted was pre-recorded so I just uploaded it because I never got the chance to upload it. So yeah, so it's been a while. Look at this piece of hair. I'm like, girl, fix your life. I can't. Anyway, so today I have a super, super exciting video for you guys today and it is the one, the only, Alta haul. Sorry, wrong way. I'm so excited about it. Um, I got so many products that I wanted to try for, probably not that many, but um, <laughs> that I wanted to try for a while. And then I've repurchased some things. And I actually got two things from Target, two makeup products from Target that I just put in the bag. But I'll let you know which ones I got from Target, which you should know because also doesn't say, carry certain like things that you can get at Target. Like, you know, they don't carry like. Milani, Pixie, um, Elf, um, and some other, I think, Wet n Wild, any of those. So let's just get into this video. Okay, so first I'm just going to start off with um, products that I just repurchased because, you know, to get that out of the way. And so first I'm going to start off with my eyelashes. Like, I love these eyelashes. I love them more than, like, I loved my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, anyways, so, um, yeah, they're the Ardell 105 in black, and I actually really like the glue that they come with, um, some people don't like this glue, but I like it, and then, y'all already know, I repurchased this, I don't know why I always get the mini ones, like, I told myself, I was like, okay, this time, just get the big one unique, because I keep repurchasing mini ones, and they just keep going, like, money, you know what I mean, they go by so fast, and, like, the box makes the product seemed like it would be bigger. Let me show you. If you haven't already seen this before, that's not it. Um, <laughs> look how tiny that is. That is so little. The bigger one isn't even that much bigger. Um, but yeah, I do like this primer. I'm trying to look for a better one. Um, I don't really try primers that much, but like this is the first one I ever tried so and it smells so good it smells so good so yeah I get the mini one but I did actually buy another primer which I'll show you later on in the video so yeah maybe you know and the other one is cheaper so maybe I'll like that one better which probably not but so yeah poor professionals primer I repurchased that and I just repurchased the real techniques beauty blender because you like you can never have too many I was gonna get the two pack but I didn't because you know money um so yeah so I got that these are actually really really good I haven't tried the real beauty blender but I'm planning on it so I don't know why I just do that poor thing the um NYX um liquid eyeliner which you know this is a liquid one yeah um this isn't my favorite one but to be honest with you, like, whenever I go to, like, Ulta or somewhere, like, I can, like, I don't think people really use liquid eyeliner anymore. They use, like, the gel eyeliner. That's what most people use. But I like li liquid eyeliner. It's just easier to put on to me than gel eyeliner. Um, gel eyeliner is, like, much harder. I don't know how people do that. But, um, I like the liquid one, so I can never really find, like, liquid. But, like, if you, like, have, like, a good liquid liner that you use, if you use liquid liner, please tell me because, like, I just... This one is okay. It kind of, it doesn't, I don't know. You put it on and it looks really black at first, but then like during the day, like it gets less black. And it sometimes cracks. It doesn't crack all the time. I don't prime it. I'm sorry. But yeah. Okay, I need to stop throwing my stuff. Anyway, so yeah, I got the next one. I've had these makeup removers before. This is the Neutrogena makeup removers. And to be honest with you, I haven't had makeup removers in the longest time. So I've been just taking off makeup with water which is not good but my face is pretty clear to myself it's pretty clear um just girl okay um so yeah i just got those um nothing special when i first started using makeup i used to always prime my lids with this and when i'm about to show you i'm not gonna show you yeah i'm gonna tell a story first <laughs> and so i used to always prime my lids with this um eyeshadow base and I loved it loved it loved it loved it so much and I only purchased it once I don't know why I never repurchased it um because then I just started using like concealer to prime my lids because you know like why don't waste your money um but anyways <laughs> so I used to use concealer to prime my lids and everybody else who used this primer that I'm about to show you guys loved it too 
um, even though we had just we were just like starting makeup, so we didn't really know. So I'm repurchased it to see if I still like it, just because I guess I know a little bit more about makeup now, not that much more. But yeah, so it's the NYX eyeshadow base, and it doesn't have a color. It just says ESBO3. I don't know what that means. Anyways, um, but yeah, so it just looks like that, and it's it actually lasts a long time. And I used to use it actually under my eyelids. I used to use it um, under my eyes and so yeah like so I just repurchased that from like a long time ago so if I guess it is a repurchase because I've used it before um so yeah so those are all the things that I've repurchased that I've used before basically yeah and now these are all things that I've never used in my whole entire life and I'm so excited to use them so which we start off? I guess we'll start off with like the boring things I don't know this is boring um I got two brushes one of them is from Target I guess I'll show you that one first since I brought it up um and it's the Sonia cash oh girl I don't know how to pronounce things um anyway so it's just this brush um it's like a concealer brush but um I use sparkles a lot and the brushes that I have none of them like really work that well so this one seems like it would work good like to put on some little sparklies um so yeah I got that I don't know how much this was I think it was like six dollars it wasn't that expensive but yeah this is the one I got from Target this is one of the things I got from Target um so yeah and I don't think they have this brand at Ulta either so yeah I'm really actually excited about that I just need like I need one day I just want to go just brush shopping because I need like so much brushes because I really don't have that many brushes I have like 10 not even probably seven um so yeah and then the next one is from it's cosmetics this brush was 18 dollars. kill me now but i don't have like i have like a smudger kind of brush where you can like i don't have i don't finish my sentences this is like a smudger brush where you can like um when you do like your bottom lash line like when you put like eyeshadow under it and i don't have a brush that works well with that because every single time i do my bottom my waterline like it just doesn't turn out that good just because like the brushes i use are too big it's this is the it cosmetics one and i like how the it cosmetics brushes look like i just like they're so pretty so yeah i got that and i purchased new eyelashes um i think they're a little bit dramatic um looking at them right now they look more dramatic even because in the store i thought they looked really dramatic but anyways, so they are the Ardell Double Up 204s, and they look like a vet. They're really pretty, but, like, I just think they're going to be too much for my eyes, for me personally. Um, but we, you know, it doesn't hurt to try. Um, my mom hates eyelashes, so she's definitely going to hate these ones. Because she hates these ones, and to me, these are not dramatic at all. Like, the difference is insane. So, yeah, um, I got those. <laughs> The next product I got, ooh, these, I'm getting down to the good stuff. Okay, this is another product I got from Target. This is the last product I got from Target, and it's from Elf. And this is the primer, the, another, the next primer I got. And it's just like a clear primer, and I've, I don't think I've ever heard anything about this. I probably have, I just didn't pay attention. Why is everything packaged so, like, I just want to take everything out. <laughs> so, I'm going to see if that works, this works. So yeah, hopefully it does. And it wasn't that expensive. I think it was. Let me see how much it was. Because I really don't think it was that expensive at all. Okay, wrong receipt. Oh, it was only $6 plus tax. So it wasn't that expensive. No, it wasn't expensive at all. Like, I could buy like 18 million of these. You know what I mean? Anyways. So yeah, it's got that. And it's really pretty packaging. It looks very classy. I like it. I can't wait to play with all this. I'm probably going to, like, end up just, like, anyways. Ooh, we're getting down to the really good stuff. Okay. Okay, I think I'm just going to I was So, I was in need for a concealer, and I've heard so many things about this concealer, and I was choosing between this one or the Urban Decay one. I forgot what that one's called. And I was like, I'm just going to go which, which, one, which one is cheaper. So the Urban Decay one was $28, and, um, so you probably already know what I'm going to do, say, um, so I went with the Tarte 
shape tape concealer and oh my god i am so happy because i've heard so many good things about this i've heard nothing but good things about this concealer so i'm super excited about it because any other concealer i bought before it wasn't that great um i didn't really like it that much and it didn't blend out well and ugh, it was just not good so um yeah and i got the shade medium i don't know if that's like too light or too dark i think it's i think it's i think i did good but this applicator is so big and like yes it's so amazing i'm so excited about it oh my gosh i'm so excited the things i get excited for anyways so yeah i'm super excited to try this out and yeah i actually thought this one was going to be more expensive for some reason but you know urban decay be taxing so yeah i don't know why i thought that so yeah i got that and i'm really excited about it and i'm so excited to try it so yes okay oh my god okay so hmm. okay i'm just gonna go with this one so i i think i mentioned this in one of my other videos i wanted the carly bible palette and they finally had it in stock and i'm so excited about it and because it's like so cheap too it was like 14 dollars and some change which is so exciting and it's like really pretty colors so look at her yes yes oh my gosh and it's like are these are these like Ooh. let me see if it says anything They're really really pretty colors the eyeshadows and i'm super excited about that and again it was so so cheap and oh this is a nice mirror so yeah and it's like so classy and like Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. When I, and they had like three left. And when I seen that, they finally... Because I've went in there like literally like four times looking for this palette. And when I went today, I was like, I'm probably not going to find it. And if I didn't, I was just going to get one of the naked palettes. Which, price difference is crazy insane. Because I got another palette, which I'm about to show you guys. So, <laughs> so um... Yeah, so I, when I seen this, I was like, yes! Because, yeah, the other palette I got was kind of expensive too. But... Yeah, I'm so excited they got this, and I can't wait to play with it. I'm probably going to make, like, a video right after this, playing with all of this stuff. So, like, don't judge my life if you see a makeup tutorial right after this video, me wearing the same shirt. Don't judge. Okay, and these two things, like, kind of came together, I guess, because I bought this palette. I got, um, this free. So, um, I'm going to show you the palette first. <laughs> the Tarte tartlet and bloom palette and i was gonna get like the other one there was another one next to it there was this one and then there was the pro one that i think just came out or something like that this palette is really tiny <laughs> so gosh the colors are so pretty oh my goodness okay Whew. they're so pretty try not to can you see that? That is so pretty. And, like, I like neutral colors, so, like, this palette is amazing to me. Like, I'm not, like, like orange and red and pink. I don't know. I like, like, browns. I mean, I could do pink, but um, I used to do pink, like, when I was in high school. But, yeah, so this palette, was, I think, was $45. And I guess it's not that bad. I have no idea. But I'm so, so excited for this. And, like, the mirror is so pretty. And the package... I'm gonna be started on the packaging y'all I've wanted this palette literally for the longest time in the world um so I'm super excited that I got to purchase it I can't wait to play with all my new makeup and the thing that came with it was really small and that's okay I'm glad I got something for you though but anyways so it's just this tarp glossy paint lipstick which I didn't buy a lip product so I guess that's good but I don't no lip products look good on me. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna look good on me, but that's okay. It was free. I'm gonna try it. But, yeah. That is all I got, guys. That's all I got. Like, no, that was a lot. Um, but yeah, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm so excited that I get to play with all this stuff. Um, so I will see you guys in my next video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!